Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, I'm going to review TMI's line of PBC and uh, PBC strip doors. So I thank everybody for attending. Um, on this slide, it shows a uh, collage of pictures. Uh, I'm going to start on the upper left. It's just some of the different types of PVCs that we have. Uh, we have large uh, variety of different types of PVC. Each one of them does a specific task out in the market. Um, some of the ones that you can see there are our standards. Uh, we have a low anti-static green, insect control yellow, um, some welding screens, and some different profiles are ribbed, that kind of thing. Um, just any type of PVC that you need for your uh, project or your door, uh, we have it, and we generally have it in stock, able to ship within the first few days of the order coming in. Um, on the bottom left, that's an example of a red weld screen, and we also have a full line of coated materials, which is the pyramid stack next to it. And on the right is one of our best-selling strip doors. That's an accordion strip door. Um, it's, when you need it, the strips are in the doorway, uh, providing energy control. And for the months that you may not need it, the shoulder seasons, um, you can move it out of the way, and it only stores in 18% of the doorway. So it's a, it's a great product, um, one of our best sellers. So why use strip doors? Um, strip doors are one of the uh, most cost-effective energy control products that you can have. Uh, they protect employees and inventory against noise, heat, cold, humidity, dust, and insects, um, as well as anything that the wind might blow inside the building. They promote safety. Um, on most of our doors, we provide some orange safety end strips that go on either side of the door, just so the forklift operator or someone moving through the door knows where the door jam is and they can avoid that. Um, we regularly update our inventory to offer the most diversified range of PVC material and hardware in the United States. Um, it's considered having a, one of the fastest payback periods of all the doors. Um, it's relatively inexpensive and it's very easy to install. And again, it can save you hundreds of dollars in energy costs each year. Our industrial strip doors are used in openings uh, greater than six foot wide by eight foot high. Uh, we have a lot of different food service type strip doors or pedestrian strip doors um, that aren't necessarily considered industrial, but they would be for any of the smaller doors. Um, they are built to withstand, uh, the industrial doors are built to withstand heavy industrial fork lift traffic. And they're also offered in a wide variety of materials, whether it's clear, frosted, black, weld, offset, double ribbed, and anti-static. And we have many different types of hardware available for you. Um, to order or receive a quote from us on strip doors, there's a few requirements that we have. Um, we'll need the door width and the height. We'll need to know if it's interior or exterior use. We will also need to know the type of traffic going through, whether it's forklift or just uh, human traffic or push carts, that type of thing, and if there's any type of environmental conditions, whether there's negative pressure, high wind loads, or um, anything else that might be in the area that we need to be aware of. Um, and as far as the different types of strip doors, the most common strip doors that we have are 8 and 12 inch strip doors. Um, they come in four different overlaps. There's a chart underneath the width and the height uh, picture on the door um, that kind of shows you how it works. 100% overlap would be two rows of strips, and they would be 100% um, overlap. We put the uh, back row strip so it completely covers the seam of the two on the front. Um, we also have a 75% overlap, 50%, and a 25% overlap. Uh, 50 and 100 being the most common, and on the 12 inch, 67%, uh, and 100% being the most common on those doors. Um, Generally, what we recommend is for your interior doors, uh, to like an eight by eight, an eight inch strip, and for anything bigger than that, up to probably a 12 by 12, we'd recommend the 12 inch strip. Um, and as well as we have bigger doors as well. We can go to 16 inch, 48 inch, whatever you need, we can cover your opening. Um, and also the multiplying factors in red, if you need to figure out for in the field what your different um, how many strips you'll have per door. So if you have a eight foot door and you want a 50% overlap, you would just calculate uh, eight times two, you'd end up with 16 strips if you're following on the uh, multiplying factor in red. Okay. Uh, different types of PVC in the doors. Um, our PVC usage is for, is for many commercial markets. Uh, strip doors, clean rooms, uh, computer and electrical equipment enclosures. 
We do a lot of sound block materials as well, automotive, tank lining, and as well as geomembranes and pond lining as well. Um, we have some other markets for some of the other PVC products that we showed on the one collage. Uh, we have laminated products that are used in banners, tents, and awnings. Uh, we can make wall coverings and wall boards with the PVC, swimming pool liners, many types of tapes and labels. A lot of uh, our PVC is used in advertising signs and pretty much any other use that you can. Um, it comes in uh, a smooth surface. It's basically optically clear finish for increased safety. You can see through it. Um, you can determine if someone's coming through the door. Uh, you can read through it as well. It's just a very clear product. It comes from four inch to 16 inch wide, uh, 040 to quarter inch thick. And it has a temperature rating of zero degree Fahrenheit to 150 degrees. Uh, it's recommended for applications above freezing. And we also have an offset double rib, rib PVC. It's recommended for high use, uh, high traffic areas. It's also known as ribbed or OSDR, which stands for uh, the offset double ribbed, and it's quite scratch resistant. What it has is it has, uh, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it has uh, two inch, on two inch centers, it has raised ribs. And what that allows it to do is any load that's coming through the door uh, hits the ribbed first, uh, the part that projects out, and that way it remain, the uh, clear part behind the rib remains clear a lot longer. It increases your door, uh, it about doubles your uh, life expense of the strips just because it takes all the beating and the clear part behind it doesn't get scratched and uh, remains clear for the majority of the time. And also it is made out of the standard material, so it has the same temperature rating of zero to 150 degrees. We have a USDA type material as well. It's a low temp material. Um, it is good for negative 20 to plus 140. Uh, this is the type of material that would, you would want to use um, if you're in colder climates, as well as in coolers and freezers. Uh, you wouldn't want to use this in a standard temperature application only because uh, there's a lot more plasticizers in the material to so it will remain flexible at the lower temperatures. So it tends to get a little sticky at uh, 70 degrees and above. So again, this is perfect for coolers, freezers, and outdoor applications in uh, colder climates, but you wouldn't want this in your um, 70 degree and above uh, type areas. Um, it's made of compounds that meet the federal requirements for incidental contact with meat, poultry, and dairy products. Um, at CFR 21, a lot of folks will, you'll hear ask for USDA type material. CFR 21 stands for a code of federal regulations, the 21st code, and that is what replaces the USDA. So we kind of use them interchangeably. Um, but if you're in the market and you need to do some research, look up CFR 21. The USDA has been out of, uh, away from that for about the last 10 years. It was replaced by the CFR 21. Um, and again, these materials we have four inch to 16 inch wide and in uh, 040 to 160 as well. And that also comes in the rib variety as well. We also have an extra low temp PVC for your coldest of environments. Um, anything going up into Canada or any type of blast freezer, we recommend this type of material. It's good from minus 75 to 140. And just like the other low temp material, you wouldn't want this in the uh, standard temperatures just because it would get really sticky with this. This one has even an extra dose of the different plasticizers. Um, so you want to keep this in the cold environments. We stock this in 8 inch and 12 inches wide, uh, which is our most two common types of door materials, in 080 and 120 thick. And earlier I had mentioned about the safety factor of the doors. Um, we have the safety orange PVC that's included in most strip doors. Uh, it's available at no cost if you um, ask for it. It is a um, orange material, again, just to outline the door frame. Uh, that is in four inch to 16 inches wide from 086 to 160, and that is in the standard um, temperature range as well, which is zero to 150. We also have a full array of different types of welding screens. Um, we have amber, Aztec, and dark green. These have been uh, certified by the American Welding Society. Uh, they are California Fire Marshal, and they also block the ultraviolet rays for uh, welding type applications. Um, they are not a substitute for approved eye protection. If you are actually doing the welding, you still want to wear a mask with the appropriate eye protection, but this is just to protect 
passers-by and for safety reasons, if you want to make sure that your welder is okay, um, you will be able to put the strip door around and you can still see through it, that type of thing. So um, this is generally used for welding schools, any type of welding application in front of a lot of robot welders, just where folks need to make sure that the quality and the safety is in the area, but they still need the eye protection from the occasional passerby. Um, we also have a full array of insect yellow PVCs. Uh, the insect yellow PVC, it kind of works like the old light bulbs did that were yellow. Um, what they do is you put those on your doorway and they act as a filter for the light so the, the bugs are not attracted to the white light. Um, bugs can't see the yellow for some reason and uh, it just works very well. Um, very big in the summer. A lot of times folks will move them out of the way or replace them with a ribbed in the wintertime, but in the summertime these are what you want so your dock area is not a beacon for every bug in, in the area. Um, it also takes care of a lot of the ultraviolet light hazards as well uh, in the area. And it's popular in the food processing facilities, printing facilities, and warehouse applications in the south. Um, temperature range on this material is zero to 150 degrees. We also have a full line of anti-static materials. These are mostly used in clean rooms. Um, and data center aisles, they reduce the static charge normally associated with a plastic strip. Um, a lot of times from walking through, the friction can build up on your standard strips. Um, these are constantly blooming, uh, it's refreshing the surface all the time on the PVC. They have a limited shelf life of one to two years. Uh, they're always recommended for interior applications. And they also have a temperature range of zero to 150. Uh, they also meet the uh, static discharge requirements for federal standard 101C. We also have some different opaque PVCs. Um, a lot of times these are used in security areas. Uh, we use these a lot in airports, different types of conveyor belts, a lot of pick and pack where maybe a customer is picking up something from a conveyor and don't want to see what's behind it. Um, a lot of times uh, for R&D projects, customers will put in a blacker or a white strip door around the area that uh, they're doing some R&D in just to keep prying away, eyes away from it. Uh, these are completely opaque and we stock these basically in 8 to 12 inches or 8 to 16 inches wide in 0 .080 to 0 .160 thick and uh, in the black. And in the white we have 12 inch by 120 only. Uh, these are not recommended for equipment traffic. It would be a very serious safety hazard if someone was coming the other way. Uh, these are just basically uh, for security reasons. And again, these materials are made out of the same type of standard compounds that have a temperature range of 0 to 150 degrees. Okay. Before we get into the different types of hardware and the different types of strips, does anybody have any questions on the uh, different types of PVC? I have a question, Rick. Mm -hmm. On um, For the accordion strips, um, the the uh, accordion hardware, can all yes. strip material be placed on those? Nope. Um, that is 12 inch only. And that's already ah, okay. a fixed 16, 67% um, overlap. Okay, so on the accordion hardware, you can only do a 12 inch wide strip? Yes. Okay. But it could be in, well, oh, never mind. Okay. That's, All right. That's that was my question. question. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Um, and if you're looking at the collage here in the upper left, um, we have a ribbed strip door. Uh, you can kind of see how it's falling over the barrels that are coming through. Basically, again, it's always resting on the ribs of the PVC, so the uh, flat surface that you see through is going to remain clear. Um, we have an econo track. Uh, on the right hand side there, upper right, just shows the holes are always on two inch centers and their studs has a clamp strip that clamps the PVC material through there. Bottom left, we have our uh, J-hook design where the J-hooks are RF welded to the uh, to the strip and then everything is slid into the uh, aluminum extruded channel. And then the bottom right, we have a little bit more of a close up of the accordion door. We'll go over the industrial hardware types right now. These are the most common that we do sell um, out into the marketplace. Uh, they come in three different types. They have a header mount, a wall mount, and a universal mount. 
Um, if you look kind of across from that verbiage, there is three. Um, the one on the left would be known as the header mount that will go um, under the lentil. It would screw up from the inside of the jam into the top of the jam. And we have a wall mount that would mount to the face of the wall. Generally, you want to size those uh, larger than the opening. If you have a three by seven opening, generally you're going to want to add at least uh, four inches, make that a 40 by 80 door, uh, just to make sure you have the proper overlap on all sides of the door. And again, that would mount above the door jam on the face of the wall. And then we have a universal mount that is kind of the best of both worlds. A lot of times if the customer doesn't know exactly what they're up against as far as an installation that may be far away, you want to recommend um, the universal mount. That gives them the, the ability to mount it either way. We stock these materials in three, four, five, six, eight, and 10 foot lengths. Um, they're available in galvanized steel, aluminum, and in stainless steel. Um, Probably 90% of the doors go out in galvanized steel, another 8% in stainless steel, and the aluminum is just very low use. Uh, that's maybe 2% of the doors. We have these in uh, our safety lock, which is a patent designed by us. Um, the first picture on, well, actually the first two on the upper top is the safety lock design. Basically, you have a keyhole design in the clamp strip. You put your strips on, pop this over, it slides into the bottom of the keyhole. Uh, put the lock tab on it, which is the orange um, tab that you see in the upper left, and that would take care of allowing the clamshift to come off. It's just a very fast installation. Um, no tools required to actually change out your strips or add your strips. What the nut and bolt does is it has a 12-inch clamp strip as well, but you would have to put um, six quarter 20 kept nuts the whole way across uh, the length of the hardware. It's a little more time consuming. I would recommend that for a lot of high use, uh, high volume forklift traffic where you might run into some issues with uh, a high load coming across there. Um, but both are uh, sent out into the marketplace every day. Um, our safety lock is our number one moving hardware that we do so. We also have a couple different overhead door brackets um, that are uh, quite popular in the marketplace. Uh, what these are built to do is these are built to uh, the roll-up type doors that have the canister mount you need to um, span across each side of those and still enclose the door. Uh, so we have our SDVPP, which is in the upper right. Uh, that stands for a uh, standard duty variable uh, pivoting projection. Um, a lot of folks, uh, if you kind of see the arrows up top, they will roll these up in the summer when they don't necessarily need them and you can kind of adjust the angle that they come out, and you can also adjust front and back. Um, you could do a 12-inch to a 6-inch projection with those brackets, as well as an 18 to a 12-inch, so we do have two different set, different types of uh, projections. And we also have the heavy-duty 3SBB. Uh, that stands for a three-sided box beam. Um, those are good for your wider, higher, taller doors. Um, those go up to a 6x3 steel tube. We'll go across the front of those. Again, these are just built to go around the larger canister doors if you can mount to the wall or in the jam. Um, that's generally the easier way, but when you need these doors, we do have them available. Sliding strip doors is probably our um, second most popular type of hardware after the, uh, in the industrial type after the uh, universal mount. Um, these allow the strips to get out of the customer's way. Uh, we have many different types of configurations. You can do the biparting wall mount, um, where you can send you know, part of your strips to the left, part of your strips to the right. Uh, we have a one-sided wall mount as well, where you can slide everything completely out to the right, uh, whatever makes it easier for your customer and whatever they have room for. And here's some of the questions on the uh, accordion door. Um, so these are uh, commonly used when a, a sliding strip door suits the application, but space is limited. Um, the accordion strip door collapses two inches for each foot of width, and it's available in biparting or one-sided. And these can also be used with an overhead door bracket as well. Um, they are only available in a 12-inch 67% uh, overlap. And Another common question that we get in these is what prevents them from opening and closing on their own? There is a brake on these, a magnetic brake. Um, so generally when you receive them, there will be two pull ropes on them. One's going to be for the brake, 
and one's going to be to actually pull the door open or close. Um, now we're entering the, our food service types of strip doors. Um, our M-Series door, this is one of the original strip doors in the industry. It was developed by a company called Kertron uh, back around 1976. Um, their doors range from 34 to 79 inches wide. Uh, strips come in 80, 86, and 96 inch lengths. And our most popular kits contain six or eight inch wide strips and the mounting hardware. They come in a nice point of purchase display. Um, basically what it is, if you look at the picture, there are um, two brackets, um, one on the left and one on the right, and the aluminum pole that stretches between them. And the strips are heat sealed with a loop, uh, so they slide over. And they also have, they're set for a 50% overlap. Um, so each strip overlaps the one prior. Uh, that's what creates your seal at the top. Again, very popular in the food service industry. Uh, we ship out 100 to 150 of these doors per day. Um, the loop design alleviates the stress point at the point of contact for increased service life and the strips, they can easily be replaced as needed. You just need to take one of the brackets down and uh, slide whatever strip off that is broken and you can add another one right on there. Um, we carry a full line and stock a full line of replacement strips in three and six packs. Um, so a lot of folks, they will stock them in their own locations just so they have them on hand for when they may need them. Um, polar reinforced is the most popular for this application simply because it is generally a cooler or a freezer application. And uh, we also have them in the bilingual display boxes. We also have our Kirchenizer strip door. Uh, they are NSF listed, um, everything that's made of polypropylene hardware. Um, it's very lightweight cost-effective. Um, NSF uh, approved the store probably about 15 years ago. We've been selling stores at NSF. Uh, the hardware is fixed at 40 inches wide and strips come in 80 or 86 inches in length. Uh, one thing that's nice about these strips and the hardware is it's on the industrial application, uh, two inch on centers. Um, so anybody's strips will fit this hardware as well. We designed it so that um, it's one of the most common strip pull patterns in the industry. And the uh, polar reinforced material on this is also the most popular. Again, these are mostly used in uh, coolers and freezers. And these also come in the uh, retail ready bilingual display boxes. And we also offer the uh, Chase and Economax fast mount strip doors. Uh, the mounting brackets are a low profile aluminum extrusion. Um, it is inherently strong and maintains minimal clearance from the wall. It's a very nice, thin uh, design, uh, very unobtrusive, very appealing design as well. The J-hooks are a continuous uh, weld bonded between each strip. Uh, we have six and eight inch strips for the fast mount, and it has a standard two inch overlap on each side. Uh, so that would be a 50% overlap in the eight inch and a 67% in the six inch. And the strips are tapered, uh, making installation fast and easy. The material options for the fast mount are 6 inch 060 and uh, the 8 inch 080. And the materials that they're available in is the US uh, standard, USDA low temp, and in the lock rib and in the low temp reinforced as well. And these are also stock. We have a wide variety of materials and uh, hardware available for these. Fly mount strip doors are the, the classic legacy uh, design of Seneca, and uh, the mounting brackets are a two-part aluminum extrusion. Um, these are a little bit stronger uh, than the fast mount for a little bit more of an industrial application. Um, the J hooks as well, these are still RF welded, slide in and out. Installation is very simple on these doors. Uh, installation instructions come with everything labeled. Strips are numbered, that way it's just something that's quick and easy for the installers to put in. Um, the, the mounting options for the buy mount are face a wall and jam, gravity hinge, and we can put these in the truck. These can be sliding and uh, put on the overhead doors as well. And I just want to give everybody a, an option. Uh, when you're done here, if I didn't answer any of your questions, if you have any additional questions, you can look at our website. Um, 
if you go to our resource center and our website, the main page is www.tmi-pvc.com. Um, if you look on that web page, you'll see a resource center. Click on that. That has all of our sales flyers and catalogs, installation instructions, PVC specification sheets. There's also a chemical resistance chart. If you guys need to see what type of PVC, how it react to uh, whatever type of chemical you might have in your application, check there. Have any questions, you can reach out and give me a call. And um, extension 117, and I'd be happy to help you out.